I am not happy. I'm not happy at all. Um, the WWE draft was live yesterday on Friday Night SmackDown. On Tuesday uh, night, it was on at, at 8 o'clock Central, went off at 10 o'clock. Um, depends where you live. Um, this draft went on for two hours on Friday Night SmackDown Live, the first SmackDown of live ever. I believe it's ever. Maybe it might not be the only one ever, uh, but it's live now, whatever. Um, we're going to get into this draft. I'm very frustrated by it. We're going to get into it. We're going to look through the whole roster. I'm going to tell you my thoughts. I'm going to rant. I'm probably going to roast a couple people because that's just how I feel right now. WWE really messed up big time on this one. I, I really had some high expectations for this, but whatever. I'm, we're just going to go through it. We're going to go through this real quick. Um, the first selection of Raw was Seth Rollins. The first selection for SmackDown was Dean Ambrose, which is the World Heavyweight Champion. We'll get to the championships down the line. Uh, I'll go through the raw. I'll go the raw picks, and then we'll go through the the SmackDown uh, picks. We have Seth Rollins, Charlotte, Finn Balor, getting brought up from NXT. Skip Roman Reigns, The New Day, Sami Zayn, Sasha Banks, Chris Jericho, Rusev, Kevin Owens, Enzo and Cass, Gallows and Anderson split up from AJ Styles. Big show. Nia Jax from NXT. Neville. Cesaro, Sheamus, Titus O'Neil, Paige, Darren Young, with Bob Backlund, Sin Cara, Jack Swagger, Dully Boys, Sun Sunray, Mark Henry, Braun Strowman being split up from the Wyatt. I don't know why. That's a dumb decision. What? Bo freaking Dallas. Oh, and oh, and the people who haven't been selected, I'm saying I I guess. I guess people who have not been selected, Mark Henry, Braun Strowman, Bo Dallas, Shining Stars, Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke, and Curtis Axel. Why didn't the Shining Star... Alright. We're going to go through the list through SmackDown. I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm going to... I'm gonna... Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles, John Cena, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, Becky Lynch, uh, Miz with Maurice. Baron Corbin, American Alpha from NXT, Dolph Ziggler, Natalia, Alberto Del Rio, The Us Usos, Kane, Kalisto, Naomi, uh, Ascension, freaking Jack Ryder, Apollo Crews, Alexa Bliss from NXT. That was a big surprise. Rizongo for some unknown goddamn reason. Eva freaking Marie, Vod Villains, Eric Rowan by himself, I guess. Mojo Riley from NXT, good lord. Carmella. And I, yeah, here's people who are left. First of all, the first thing I, just, I noticed people who have been selected. Why didn't the Shining Stars get selected? Is there a race thing going on with those that those two people? Why were they selected? Because they are good. When they made their debut as the Shining Stars and they had that little tag team. There was one match with two scrub tag teams. It was like a good five minute or six minute match. You know, it was decent. Like they showed enough. Like they should be somewhere freaking on this roster. I don't know why they have not been selected in any category for SmackDown or Raw. I don't even know why they haven't been in a match since they debuted. I don't know what's going on there. If they did something where people are mad at them, but that really upsets me. Um, first of all, Raw, I don't know. I don't know how scripted this was. I don't know freaking if they wrote down the selections on spot, like live, and they had their selections on spot, or if they already had the selections written down uh, before this. I don't know how they did this. Um, but freaking Raw stack their show, and uh, people are gonna say, "Well, oh, oh, Raw had to be stacked because it's a three-hour show, and it needed to be stacked up. They had to have more people." Okay, I understand that that it needed to have more people because it is a three-hour show. That makes totally and complete sense of why it needs to be a stacked and three-hour show. However, the people that they stacked, they could have stacked like more. Pe they could have stacked people. On Raw, but it didn't have to stack all the super, super great people. Um, one thing I noticed about SmackDown, hold on, excuse me, what the heck happened here? Uh, one thing I noticed, no, now we got an ad playing, great, shut up. One thing I noticed about SmackDown is that SmackDown's main event scene is pretty decent. Like, you see the main event scene right here. Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles, John Cena, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt. That's a good start for like a main event scene of like people going for that main event championship. 
that's a good, that, that's good, like, John Cena, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, that's good, that's fine, however, if you notice, if we scroll down a little bit, did I pass him up, I think I passed him up, we have The Miz, who is the IC champion, so the IC championship is a pretty big mid-card championship, it's the biggest mid-card championship they have, SmackDown does not have a giant mid-card spot, which Raw does. Freaking Raw has Kevin Owens, Cesaro, Neville, Sami Zayn. They didn't need all four people. They didn't need all four of them. Freaking Cesaro wanted to be on SmackDown so bad. They could have... If SmackDown would have had Cesaro, SmackDown would be okay. Freaking all SmackDown really needed to make SmackDown perfect was AJ Styles, John Cena... Kevin Owens and Cesaro. If not Kevin Owens, Cesaro at least. If not Cesaro, Kevin Owens at least. You needed those four people. We got two. We Kev, Kevin Owens should have been running SmackDown and be the head heel for SmackDown. AJ Styles can fill that part, I guess. Cesaro should have been like the main mid card person for the IC Championship to make that IC Championship mean something really, really great, or maybe get a couple shots for the main championship. Either, even Neville, Neville could have made that IC Championship really great being in that spot and going after it. The problem is with SmackDown right now is our mid-card division is very, 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 very weak. Okay? I'm going to go through who are probably going to be our mid-card division. And I'm going to tell you if you think it's going to be good or not. We have The Miz, Baron Corbin, possibly, Dolph Ziggler. Uh, I can see Del Rio in that mid-card feud, possibly. Probably in the main feud a couple times. Kalisto, I guess. Like, what? Zack Ryder, really? We're, 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 we're stuck with Zack Ryder because we know he's going to be that mid-card guy. I'm not a Zack Ryder guy in any shape, form, or fashion. I'm not. Apollo Crews, that's good. That's like your biggest mid-card guy you have. Um, and that's it. That's it. So the people who might be even interesting to watch for a mid-card feud match is Apollo Crews versus Dario. And maybe Apollo Crews and Dolph Ziggler. Apollo Crews and The Miz, maybe Dolph Ziggler and The Miz. We've already seen that a couple times for the IC Championship, by the way. Baron, Cor Baron Corbin's okay. He's decent at best. That's the problem with him. Zack Ryder. We're, we're stuck with Zack Ryder. Who, who else? Kane? I guess maybe you can do something with Kane. I turn, I'd keep him as a demon Kane and, lead and turn him heel. Maybe. Maybe you can work something around with that. SmackDown does not have a good mid-card division at all. Freaking Kevin Owens or Cesaro, really. Cesaro could have made that mid-card division. He could have been mixed in with Apollo Crews. They're in Dario and uh, Dolph Ziggler in the Miz, and I think that could, those couple people, couple people would have been fine for a mid card division, and then I would have been okay with this. Raw has freaking Finn Balor, Neville, Cesaro, Sheamus, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Sami freaking Zayn. They have everybody. Like they have all the really really great people. Now I'm. Not, and and I'm not I don't want to put down some of the other wrestlers, but I'm talking about the people who could put on good matches, who can put on good fifteen to ten to twelve minute matches and get me excited while watching. I'm sorry, Eric Roman's not that guy. Uh Zach Ryder's not that guy. Um Kalisto is okay. He's not one of those people that really gets me excited. I don't think he can put on a fifteen to ten minute match and I'd be interested. Uh he's decent at best to me. Uh Dolph Ziggler, he's also just decent. Baron Corbin's very, very eh. Uh, Miz, he's okay. Uh, and and there, that's it. Maybe Bray Wyatt. Maybe Randy Orton every now and then. But that's it. Raw is stacked in that area to where they... They, they not only will have the Cruiserweight division, but they have a really good mid-card division as well with Sammy, Kevin, Neville... And Balor, possibly. They also have great main event. Like, they also have great, you know, main championship runs with Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, uh, also Finn Balor, um, 
Also, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, maybe if they wanted to do that. Let's jump into the tag teams. Um, the tag team division is dead. I don't know what they were thinking with the tag teams and the Divas. People keep on saying they didn't have enough people to split the tag teams. I was one to believe that they could get some from NXT. Uh, I thought they, but it was, they should have been able to get more people from NXT, not just six. But I guess people I really are hung up on this NXT thing. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I feel about NXT. NXT should not be the main show where it's like, oh, we've got to keep them in NXT, NXT, NXT. It's like, no, they are there to get on the main roster. If they are ready to go on the main roster, they should be on the main roster. Not Kimura, Bobby Roode, and Austin Aries should not be wasting their time in NXT. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's not going to mean anything. Like, their championships or what they do is not fully going to matter. Like, it matters to a degree because, oh, look, they put, they put on a really great match in NXT. Oh, oh, oh. no. Freaking Kevin Owens, Sam, Sami Zayn, they left NXT and they haven't looked back. And their main exposure needs to be on the main roster. Same thing with Nakamura. I'm going to... Oh, my God. Okay. What I would have done with the tag team division is... Hopefully, the tag team divisions go interchange. Where they, where the, tag, the tag teams and the Divas should have went both on Raw and SmackDown. Because I was under the impression that the Divas, divi the Divas division... Has enough people where they can do SmackDown and Raw. That one's okay. But the tag teams really know. Uh, they should have did. They should have just bo did both women and the tag teams where they interchanged between Raw and SmackDown. And just had the singles competitors only stick to one brand. Uh, I'm hearing reports of there's not even going to be a second World Heavyweight Championship uh, until after SummerSlam. So that's four weeks from now. I still don't know what they're gonna even going to do for Raw. I mean, we get the Cruiserweight Classic thing. Uh, I'm not happy. I really thought they were going to do some really great things with this draft. I was really pumped up. I was really hyped up Monday and early Tuesday for this draft. I was so excited when they first announced this. I thought this was going to be a great idea. It turns out that this is even worse than what we ever had before. They really, they really stacked up Raw. So Raw makes SmackDown literally the beast show. Um, SmackDown looks really weak in terms of their makeup division, while Raw looks strong in every other category. They look good for the mid card. They look good for the women's division. They look good for their main card division. SmackDown only really in, and their tag team division as well because they have the Gallows and Anderson, and New Day, uh, the Dudleys. Raw looks stacked for their tag team division. They look stacked for their singles division. They look stacked for the mid card division and their women's division. While SmackDown only really looks strong. In their uh, maybe uh, their main championship division and maybe their women's division, maybe because they they had Becky Lynch, freaking uh, Carmella, I think, um, I think they said Alexa Bliss. It, SmackDown only really looks strong in one area. With it being a two-hour show, I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna need the thing with the mid-card division. Mid-card division for me is a really uh, key point when it comes to watching. Wrestling, uh, the main card division is always good, but you always want to have that mid card division for us to get excited for another championship, uh, which we have. We have both championships, uh, while Raw only has the U.S. But yet they're stacked. Uh, I, but I'm hearing reports about how the the WWE championship will be switched. All the championships will apparently be switched back between Raw and SmackDown. We'll, we might see Dean Ambrose on Raw and sometimes like that. From what I'm hearing, I don't know. Uh, I forget SmackDown has American Alpha. Never mind. For tag team division, it's still it's eh. It's still eh at best. Uh, that mid card division is is a really key point. Unless Bray Wyatt's gonna be going to that mid card division. Uh, like I said, we have mid like I, the only people I can see who can put on good mid card division matches is uh Dolph Ziggler, Del Rio, Apollo Cruz, and the Miz. And that's four people. That's about it. Unless you add more people into that. I was really hoping we were going to see more NXT people. This really just, just let me down at the end. Um, let me know what you thought. If you like this, you are a goon. This is terrible. They really make SmackDown look worse than it ever did before. I wanted SmackDown looking the way it did back in 2006, 2007, 2008. It now looks worse than it probably ever has before. Because of the fact that it's... Mid-Card Division looks really, really weak. Raw is stacked like it always has been before. Um, but even back then in 2006, 2007, 2008, 
even back then, Raw was still kind of stacked, but SmackDown still had some star people too. SmackDown really only has a couple star people, and it, it's just this is the this really got me down. But let me know how you felt about this. If you like this, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this draft, let me know how you feel about it. And uh, yeah.